Hey everybody, today we are talking about capacity and weight. So what is capacity? Capacity is the amount a container can hold. And different containers can hold different amounts. Sometimes you'll see containers with some amount of fluid in them, and you'll be asked to find out how much is in them. Well, to measure those amounts, in the metric system, we have units of liters and milliliters. A liter is about a bottle of drinking water, and a milliliter is about a drop. What type of tools can we use to measure these? Well, we have things like beakers and graduated cylinders. Meanwhile, in the customary system, we have a lot more units. I'm sorry. On the larger end, gallons, and on the smaller end, fluid ounces. To measure these amounts, we can use tools like measuring cups and measuring spoons. So what is weight? Well, weight is the measure of how heavy an object is. And the units for that in the customary system are tons and pounds and ounces. So what do we use to measure weight? We use scales, and there are plenty of them all around us. Let's take a look at an example. Here, Maricela needs to measure some cooking oil, and we want to know which unit she should use to measure the amount of oil. Well, pounds and ounces are for weight. This is not weight. Yard is for length. This is not length. So we are left with the fluid ounce. That would be the best choice for measuring the oil. And what type of tool should Maricela use to measure it? Well, a scale is for weight, a ruler is for length, and a clock is for time. So of these choices, the measuring cup is best for Maricela to measure the oil. What about Raphael trying to weigh a bag of apples? Well, the only item here that is for weight is the pound. So that's the best choice for Raphael in weighing those apples. And what type of tool should he use? Well, of these choices, the scale is the only one that does weight. So in summary, capacity is the amount a container can hold, while weight is a measure of how heavy an object is.